Hey everybody, this is going to be a quick tutorial on recompiling for iOS, which will allow you to use custom modules as well as reduce the overall size of your file if you so choose, and there's some uh, things online you can do that. So the first thing we're going to do is come into Godot and just export our file normally. Go ahead, when you're in here, just make note of exactly what version you have. I'm running 3.2.3, which is the current version right now. This is the game I'm going to go ahead and export, so I'm going to go version or project export uh, and export for iOS just normally. Now, if you don't know how to do this and you know you're getting some weird settings when you try and do this, I have a video uh, in depth explaining how to do this, so I'll go ahead and link that. Um, but we are just going to export the project and I'm going to export it outside of the project folder. Where are you? There we go. Okay, in there. Wow. And this is going to be export. Okay, and save. All right, so that's cool. That's all we need from that. Go ahead and quit the editor. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and say Godot, Godot source code, and uh, here it is. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to uh, this in the description, but uh, we can basically go here. We see that this is 3.2.3 stable. Right, and click on this and just download the source code. So I'll leave a link to this in the description. There we go. There's a source code for Godot 3.23 stable. So I'm just going to be using this folder for all this. That's hideous. Um, and we're, we're going to call this. Uh, actually, I guess I don't need to do that, do I? Hey, yeah, that worked. Okay. Bring that in here. Boom, the bow. Okay. All right, so if you are recompiling this for a custom module, you will go ahead and do whatever the instructions for that specific module are to change these files to uh, you know, in incorporate that. Um, and I will make a more in-depth tutorial on how to use one in the future, which is this really awesome one. Let's see if I got it open here. Yeah, so this is a Google ad mob thing, so look out for that. Uh, what we're gonna need to do is make sure we have scons installed on our computer. So this is really important. Um, and so you should just be able to run scons um, and uh, yeah, so no concept file found because it says like, you know, like unknown code, whatever. And the way you do that is just type in brew install scones and it's right there. If you don't have homebrew, which is how we're using brew, I'll go ahead and link that. It's, you know, you should definitely have this. It's amazing. Um, and it's, uh, it's, you know, that easy. Okay. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is CD to this directory. So I'm just going to copy and paste this, or I'm sorry, right click option and copy path name come back to here paste boot there we go cd right in there okay now what we're going to do is copy and paste this from the godot um, compiling for ios documentation i'll link this in the description we're going to be doing a few things here so we're essentially going to be using these first three lines and we're going to be doing this twice because you can see right here that this is for the release version and you're going to want a release version and a debug version and this is for the 32-bit version, and this is for the 64-bit version. So yes, we have to do a release 32, or release 64, uh, and then debug 32 and 64. And then this is going to go ahead and compile them uh, into a fat A folder for us, which is great. So uh, I'll just go ahead and do this. Uh, that didn't work. Copy. And now we're just going to go ahead and paste it. Now. This takes quite a bit of time, and uh, the first time I did this, I was getting an error that took me a while to solve, uh, so I'm going to be skipping over this, but I wanted to let you know. So my Xcode was not running from the Applications folder right here. It was running from my Downloads folder. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to that in the description, um, or a link to the solution to that in the description. It's, it's a pretty easy fix. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and let this run, and we'll be back. Alrighty then, so that is done. Uh, you can see it says finished here. And uh, if we go here into our um, Godot source code, and go to bin, uh, you can see this is what was just created. So all we're gonna do, we're still in the same directory. We can come here and just copy and paste the second line to compile the 64-bit. Okay. All right, so now we've got that done. One more step before the next three steps. <laughs> um, so go and copy this third line. And this third line is basically, and you'll see right here, just going to take both those files and compile them together. 
to make the iPhone dot release dot fat a. Okay, and this has both of them together for the 32 and 64 bit. Now, uh, we basically have to do the same thing for the debug version because um, you have to change a few things here. So, for these codes, it's pretty easy. Go ahead, paste that. Come on over here to release. Just change that to debug and then run. All right, now that that's finished, we'll go ahead and do the same thing for the 64 bit, but for the debug. Again, we're just deleting release and typing in debug. And Godot will handle the rest for us. All right, now the final step is going to be a little more involved, but uh, barely so. So go ahead and take this third line, like I just did, copy and paste it. And now what we need to do here is, probably should have done this the other way, but you can see it says create bin lib Godot iPhone dot opt dot arm. And we are going to change that to say, oh, uh, debug dot arm. Okay, and we're going to do that for this one too. Okay, and then come over here and you guessed it, change release here to debug. Now make sure you didn't spell nothing wrong and uh, go ahead and hit A or enter. Okay, so we're actually done with the terminal now and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and open up my documents right here and right here. And we're going to go into this export. So this was the export. This is the default export that we did from Godot. And uh, you can see we have this fishbowl.a that looks strikingly familiar. So we have I we have the release fat.a. And what we're going to do is just copy and paste that one in here. And then there should be another fat.a. There we go. There's their debug fat.a. Copy and paste that one in here. Now, whichever one you export it as, I think it was the debug, we are going to rename this as whatever we want that to be. Well, I guess we actually have to delete this first. Okay, take this. And there you go. Uh, and now it'll go ahead and run with whatever you have packaged it with. All right, now once you've gone ahead and copied that in there like that, you are done. You can go ahead and compile with Xcode and um, yeah, everything should run smoothly. Now, like I said, one of the big reasons you'd wanna do this is to uh, you know import a custom module and we're gonna be doing the one that allows you to run ads in your Godot game. So uh, watch out for that tutorial, it'll be coming soon. If it's already out, I'll link it here. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Please like the video, leave a comment, do whatever it helps the algorithm. And uh, yeah, have a great day.